I've never seen anything like that before. The gentle hum of the maneuvering thrusters let me know that we are in Aruba, and look at this. We are joined again by free winds. Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna get kidnapped. Little design note about Carnival Horizon, or I guess the Vista class ships, is this six foot glass wall extends all the way around the promenade, and the glass you can lean over is, well, above the promenade, which means if you were to, well, yeah, yeah, you'd end up here, and to go over this, it would take effort, like effort. <laughs> You know, either effort on your part or effort on someone else's part. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, no accidentally falling off of this ship. That is to be sure. Yeah, look, you'd have to like climb there, climb there, climb there, climb over that, and yeah, no, that that no, that that doesn't happen. Pro tip: Cheers has one of the most generous non-alcoholic like option slate of any other cruise line. Everything in the case over at Java Blue, all the energy drinks, the juices, uh, the waters, the sparkling waters, everything except the big bottles of water are included in Cheers. But yesterday, even though all I had was the one glass of Moscato, yeah, I said it, I had a glass of Moscato, uh, I still ended up underhydrated because uh, I didn't really realize. Um, I sat outside for so long, it was very warm, and you know, that causes a loss of well, loss of water, and I just don't, just don't notice it. So, uh, despite my best efforts to drink plenty of uh, non-boozy items, I still ended up underhydrated. So, even if, even if you don't drink, remember, you gotta stay hydrated. That is a theme park rule, and I'm, I, I'm admitting, I'm admitting that I, I failed on it. So, oh, well, not today. Not, not today. For this morning's episode of things I would normally sneer at, we are in the dining room. No, not because I would sneer at what's in here, but something I would just kind of casually wave off because I don't really ever leave the ship, and that is the uh, Court Day Express breakfast, which uh, well, comes with uh, all of this, although I'm a little bit concerned about what eggs mean. I guess we're going to find out. It says in and out in 25 minutes, so I guess a built-in speed run to boot. Serious question. Do Europeans think that Sunny D is orange juice? Because that's pretty much what this is. I mean, it's good, but um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, weird that it's probably cheaper to ship that all the way back here to Florida. Ah, uh, right, well, whatever. It can be eight again. 12 minutes after being seated, here it is, the express breakfast. Uh, eggs, hash brown, sausage, bacon, toast, and I think there's something else in there, but, uh, well, I don't know, you saw it. All right, so far, so good, although I have 12 minutes to eat this in order to make the guarantee. Good question. If you eat slow, what do you get? So far, this is a great breakfast experience. Everything is cooked very well, very boldly flavored for breakfast food. I'll have to say that. However, however, it is past the 25-minute mark, and I'll take that one. It is on me. Uh, yeah, for me to finish this, in, <laughs> within the 25 minute guarantee, it would have to be served in like a shake form that I could just drink because, wow, okay, I'm maybe halfway through. All right, it's fine. I have no place to go, which is why I would never order this, right? That's, well, I know I had to explain that. Challenge failed, it is way past 25 minutes, and I'm fed until Thursday, but glad I stopped by, because now that I've done my new thing for the day, I can go take a nap. The Havana Bar seems like a great place to just sit, chill, and digest for a little bit. It is nice and cool and empty. That experience got me thinking. So far, the culinary experience here aboard Carnival Horizon has been, well, quite fantastic. And not just the new Emerald menu items, but everything has been really, really good. Reminds me a lot of my first Carnival sailing back in, I guess it was 2019. That was a, like a nine day trip to uh, Bermuda and it was in Grand Cayman. Uh, um, St. No, Kitts. Anyway, uh, and uh, where the, the culinary experience was really, really great. Kind of set the bar for Carnival going forward. A bar that mm, they haven't really been meeting up until now. Realized uh, that was a nine day sailing this is an eight day sailing and in the interim i've uh, only done seven three and four night sailings on carnival and I'm, I'm wondering 
wondering if behind the scenes back at headquarters, Carnival is practicing some blatant lengthism in their uh, cruising provisioning, in their cruise provisioning. You know, the, the vessels on the longer trips, right, because that's what everyone likes, apparently, uh, get the better treatment? Huh. Maybe I'm on to something here. That's something I might want to uh, look into a few times, you know, like take some longer sailings and compare, and then take some shorter sailings and compare and uh, see see which comes out on top. I mean, I, I always do, but that's, um, you know, I'm willing to do that for you. It's just after 11, and the, uh, well, top deck activities, I guess, aren't open yet. We'll see. Be back later. This is... Well, it's one of the perfect days to do it, and might as well, I don't want to say get it over with, but since uh, a lot of people seem to have gone, a oh, <laughs> gone overboard, no, gone ashore, <laughs> yeah, today's the day to do it. Oh, and, well, you know what, actually, so this is what it looks like from the, the top deck, and, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I suppose, still, still, I mean, you'd have to, like, I mean, effort, effort it would take. Well, this is fun. They're doing maintenance on the funnel. Got rigging up there and everything, okay. Yeah, you know, if you were to see this from a different part of the ship, you might think Carnival installed a rock climbing wall, although I don't think you'd really wanna climb that, but, well, there you go. All right, so that's how they, that's how they take care of her. Correction, they are open. There's just nobody here to ride, all right, let's see. To enjoy Skyride, you must be at least 52 inches tall. Check, weigh 250 pounds or less. Yeah, I think I got that. Check your weight before getting in line. Oh, wow. <laughs> wonder, I wonder if that was added after a few incidents. Wear dry shirt and pants short. Wait, is it, wait, you have to wear a dry shirt and pants or is it a dry shirt and dry pants? Okay, interesting question. Uh, and closed toe Shoes, closed toed, closed toe or closed toed, closed closed toe. Huh? Actually, I've, how have I ever ridden that? Written, 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 read that before? I don't know. Please do not save places in line. Okay, I can I can see that. We will be back later in the appropriate footwear. So let's just continue our stroll around the top deck. There is a slogan trivia at 11:30. Gonna go check that out. It is. Well, after that, it is going to be time to think about lunch, but after that breakfast, I am a little bit hesitant on making any commitments, so I will have to, well, you're gonna find out soon enough anyway. All right, Sky Court. Yeah, this is what you may have heard yesterday at, uh, at uh, Jajai's, because the basketball courts are literally right above the restaurants, and I guess there's no one here to play basketball either. Wow, this is, this is substantial. Wow, check this out. There's our late night stalker, Celebrity Equinox. And there's a, a slightly better look at MS Free Winds. This is the ship operated by uh, Scientology. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty then, another pro tip. If you want the, the blingy things, uh, yeah, a port day is a good way to do it because there's nobody at the games. I think I'm going to uh, well, get changed slightly and go do the sky ride and maybe the water slides, then, then it'll probably be time for lunch. So that sounds like the current plan. That breakfast was absolutely stuffing. So I don't know, maybe I'll just have a little snacky poo in the uh, buffet because, well, dinner tonight, I'm sure Emerald's got more on the menu that I'm looking forward to. All right, let's go change and uh, hit the track. Since we last spoke, I tried to do the sky ride and the ropes course, but they just closed as I got there. No problem, they open again tomorrow at two o'clock, so we will be there for rope drop. I did the water slides, and uh, I'll, we'll, we'll mention one thing and then talk about something more important later. Uh, Carnival, Carnival. Um, whoever designed those slides, or whoever you bought them from, uh, you need to go get your money back. I know, I know they're probably past the warranty, but uh, yeah, they only spin left. So you can't ride them more than twice without getting dizzy. Did, did nobody like, did, did, did nobody learn their left from their right in school? Anyway, uh, maybe I'll try again tomorrow. But now it's time for lunch, snack, in Lido Marketplace. I did do a recon mission earlier and they are definitely 
some sneerable items on the line. So let's go grab those and give them a try. Yay. Right, so we are gonna try some of this uh, cauliflower sheva gratin and a bit of the brie ugh, and onion, what is that? Taruti filet, whatever, ooh. And this Kung Pao bean curd, which I guess is that. And I guess we'll end it with broiled bass niçoise. And some of that, which is a, a cassoulet du pole. Oh, pole. Well, okay, maybe I would, maybe I would get this. I figured out why. I figured out why today is such a treasure trove. It's French day. Okay, fine. We'll sub in some of the Tian ratatouille. There you go. Here we go. Yeah, I know it looks like a lot, but I figure I don't have to go to dinner at six six thirty, like I have been. I can just wait until I'm hungry. This wait, it'll probably be 11.30. All right, let's, uh, all right, fine, let's do this. Might as well start with the highest likelihood of disappointment, and that would be the fish. I guess it's the, the bass or whatever. Well, you saw what it was. Here we go. Guys, the fish, they swim in salt water, okay? They do not need to be cooked in salt water, okay? Just FYI. Yes, nobody. Oh, wow. Okay then. <laughs> let's let's try the, the bean curd. Oh yeah, yeah. How how bad? I shouldn't say that. Uh, it's just. Oh, uh, you know what? I have no expectation on this. It's just something I wouldn't ever order because, or yeah, because you know, it just doesn't look, look doesn't look like something I would really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. Wow. Ooh. I got kicked to it. Oh my gosh. That was not expected. Wait, was it? It was red bean curd, not red chili curd. Cur curry? No. Yeah, but wow. That's spicy. Well, the fact that I keep eating it. Okay, so the brie, brie gratin potatoes. I do not like brie. I never have like brie. I don't get brie. So, let's see. It's a cheesy potato. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's all it is. All right, well then let's go from cheese to cheese with the um, cauliflower. Was this cauliflower? Was this a Gruyere cauliflower? Look, guys, that was like two minutes ago, okay? Come on, give me some slack. Hmm. All right, it's good. With that, I can definitely do well. Huh. Finally, the ratatouille. I know I've used on this topic before, but I've never been able to find a good ratatouille. And I don't know, which means I do not know if the other ratatouilles, ratatouille, have been prepared properly or just not. I've just never had one that I've liked. And it's weird, it's not that, it's not that I don't like it. It's just like, why? Why would you do this? Oh, here we go, let's see if Carnival does any better. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's just like, it's a weird combination. I guess I'm just reminded that I do not like what I'm doing. Well, that's my lunchtime adventure here in the Lido Marketplace with um, a whole bunch of things that I didn't think I would like. And um, I was right. Again, again, not that they're like bad, well, the fish. Not that they're bad, but these are things that I would not get. Because I don't think I would like them. And yes, yes, my previous life choices are completely validated. Which actually just means that I'm always right. For a slightly unintended try something new, this is vanilla soft serve with chocolate sprinkles because the rainbow sprinkles are not out on the line today. I need to ask whether or not uh, they are only, they just forgot them or if they're out of them. If they are, then um, I have until about nine o'clock, I think, to uh, leave the ship and head to the airport. So uh, I'll find out uh, right after I'm done with this. That wasn't the worst thing ever. Okay, I'll admit. So, I'll stay. I'll stay, it's fine, it's fine. I should go down to Cherry on Top just to make sure, double sure, that they still have rainbow sprinkles because I do wanna try their birthday cake mix or happy birthday mix. Uh, it's similar to like a Cold Stone experience where they just chop everything up and mix it up. Uh, yeah, they have cake batter ice cream, which is the best ice cream ever. Um, I would've gone there, but it's not in the app showing open. Actually, it's not in the app at all. So, I would have had to go all the way down there, and then, well, 
now that I say that, that sounds like an incredibly trivial um, ask. So why did I do that? Because I was already up here and I didn't want to. Yeah. Okay, it made sense at the time. Welcome to Epcot, everyone. Yeah, I know, I know we're not there. But when you see work walls up like this, that's the first one everyone thinks of, the Epcot Wall Park. I wonder what's going on back there. I saw a couple of the engineers uh, walking this way with a spot welder, and uh, this buffet station was not working this morning, so uh, something is afoot. Well, hopefully they'll have everything ready by tomorrow. And check this out. So the, the deck names are here, but not here. And so if I just wanted to confirm, confirm that Havana Bar is on five, I think it's on five, you have to like very carefully go all the way across, not get lost, and then it's deck five, which I guess lines up, whoops. So yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe have the deck here also. It doesn't seem like a difficult thing. Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of expect things to be easy and well thought out. I mean, I know, I know, crazy me. That was a somewhat horrific experience. Okay, I know, yeah. I'm being dramatic, but. So the bathroom is there not touchless at all. So you have to like touch the handle to get in there. Yeah, the sink, you have to like touch the faucet and oh God, it's just, where, where when is this is carnival home. XC? I don't, really, I don't really understand. Well, I guess you win some, you lose some. Uh, second place in Golden Girls trivia. Yes, I lost to straight people. I know, I know. Shh, don't tell anyone. And uh, I know, I know, everyone's gonna be crushed. Bye. I, Hey, oh, hey! I left my key card in my room, so now I need to go to guest services and get a new one. I know, it's been since, what was it, maybe Wonder of the Seas or Odyssey of the Seas since I've done this? <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. I mean, I think I left it in my room. I hope I did. Oh boy. It's fine. You know what? Um, is this a new thing? No, it is not. It is not. So, damn, I can't count that. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. La, 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 la. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, check this out. I got the naughty key, the blue door only card. I guess I'm now categorized as an uh, an eight only? Come on, but I've been like working out and everything. Okay, slight change of plans. Uh, it was not in my room. I know exactly, exactly uh, what happened to it. Same way I lost my uh, universal. Uh, AP card, or UOAP card. Mm. New card acquired. This is what happened. I did not want to be late for trivia, so I went to the little cruiser's room on the promenade on the way to trivia, and because I can't really hold everything, not that way. Um, I, I un, I un, I removed the phone from the grip and I put it in my pocket and everything like that when I left the bathroom. I pulled the phone out of the pocket and that pulls the card out too. Exact same way I lost my UOAP card a couple years ago. It is exactly what happened. In fact, I could probably go down and find it, but I already have a new one. And, uh, oh, they assigned a new folio number, which may or may not sync up. Okay, uh, <laughs> mysterious, but whatever, I don't care. Ay, 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 what, what a drama. We are changed and on our way to dinner and yes, no shades. Hopefully everything is 100% back to normal. And uh, well, I mean, not that it mattered, but <laughs> here we go. My table is ready. There is no wait, there is nobody here because the ship is actually in Aruba until like 9.30, okay? And uh, same, I think same in Bonaire. Uh, Curacao, they leave early, oddly, so whatever. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get to our table because it's that time. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. I'll explain that in a minute. I don't think I ever showed the table. Not that there's much to show. I have a number three, four, a three tonight. Pretty much the same carnival decor style. I don't remember, but hey, Abe, how you doing? And over here is, oh, Ocean Drive. Oh, it would be a shame if uh, that disappeared. Anyway, well, here we go. Uh, yeah, not as tall as it has been in the past, but Eh, whatever, that's fine. And there is the cocktail list, in case anyone's interested. Uh, I don't know. I Maybe not. Anyway, uh, so yeah, sorry about this, but I was actually just trying to make sure that I <laughs> everything was back to normal. So is it? Oh boy, I hope so. Just let me know. Not that it will matter by the time this goes up, but uh, yes. All right, so I will see you after dinner. Dinner was amazing. I don't know what order these are coming out, 
But yeah, dinner was amazing again. I am back here in the Palms Lounge, no, Palace Lounge, whatever it is, for High Seas Karaoke. Apparently, this is a competitive event, and I don't know, I haven't, haven't done karaoke this sailing, so uh, let's see, let's, you know what, let's check if they have the number, and then we'll make that call. So I didn't have to leave dinner early. This is just regular karaoke, not the karaoke competition. So I could have had my Boston cream pie, but that's okay because I don't like Boston cream pie. I know I've said that probably five times. You know what? Misreading. The, oh, you know what? Maybe I subconsciously misread the calendar to get out of eating the pie. Oh yeah, that's obviously. Well then, I missed sign up for the karaoke competition, but that's okay because they're doing it again. I think on Saturday, Friday or Saturday. So. We'll definitely do that one. Looking ahead in the schedule, I will be seeing an IMAX on board. I was going to do that anyway, but now I definitely, definitely will be. You will find out what that is when I go. It actually works out pretty, uh, pretty well because I was going to probably see this anyway. And the only thing later is the quest. Which, oh, I'm sorry. Which uh, eh, eh, I'm okay skipping. So. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah, yeah, early, early tomorrow. Hopefully, early enough to watch our arrival at Bonaire. Missed it this morning here in Aruba, and that's kind of sad because um, the ship has to. Actually, no. We pointy ended into the channel uh, this morning, so it's it's much more interesting when they have to back in. Either way, uh, yeah. So tomorrow, Bonaire, and uh, hopefully it's time for. Arrival at the port. I tried to walk and do this at the same time. I should know how to do that by now. Uh, whatever. So, yeah. Um, I keep creating this problem for myself. Going to bed early on a cruise. And I'm getting more and more thankful for that problem. <laughs>